We're following breaking news tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm McLeod Hageman. Authorities identify a body found in Floyd County this week as the remains of 28-year-old Michael Johns. In case you missed it, Floyd County Sheriff's deputies were called to 290th Street in Shadow Avenue for a body yesterday morning. That's in a rural part of the area nearly 10 miles south of Charles City. Up until this week, his family was optimistic he was still alive. State authorities confirmed Johns was killed, but they're not releasing how at this time. He was last seen near Charles City last month. If you have any information about this murder, please call police. In tonight's top story, a Kelowna student is dead after falling from a ladder at school last night. The Johnson County Sheriff confirms first responders were called to the Iowa Mennonite School and performed CPR, but they were unable to revive her. The principal says Teresa Cardenas was in the 10th grade and her death is a devastating loss to the school and community. Right now, educators and counselors are working with students through this difficult time. Please stay with KWWL News on air and online as we continue to follow this story. A family is speaking out after a mother of three was killed in Cedar Rapids. In case you missed it, 33-year-old Heidi Stevens was shot Thanksgiving week and died shortly after. Cedar Rapids police say 24-year-old Zachary Ildefonso was arrested for first-degree murder after allegedly shooting Stevens. KWWL's Taylor Bailey talks to Heidi's brother this weekend. She joins us live in the studio with more. Taylor. According to family, funeral services will be held tomorrow in Cedar Rapids. New at 6, dramatic video after a truck driver slams into a toll booth in California. Police say the toll worker was killed. It happened early this morning as drivers were waiting to go through the checkpoint right there. The worker was killed and another person was hurt. Police say they're working to clean up the mess and traffic was affected for nearly 10 hours. Authorities say they're not sure what caused the driver to crash. Well, a couple more days of mild weather. Let's check in with Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel for a look at your first forecast. Take off. New details tonight. The Senate passes a version of a major tax reform after some last minute changes and a few hours of debates. Kim Hutcherson has that story. And keep in mind, this is all happening during Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian interference during the 2016 election. Please stay with KWWL News on air and online as we continue to follow this story. Continuing coverage, a woman is accused of murdering her adopted daughter, but now a witness is sharing their story in court. Nicole Finn is now on trial in Des Moines. Prosecutors say she hurt 16-year-old Natalie Finn, who was found starved at their home last year. The first witness on the stand was a dispatcher who says the phone call seemed off. A few of the other first responders were also called to the stand to testify. In a few months, an Eastern Iowa man will begin his second trial following sex abuse allegations. 62-year-old Douglas Lindemann was sentenced to 10 years in prison last year following the first trial, but that was erased by the Iowa Supreme Court. He was allowed to represent himself without knowingly waiving his right to an attorney. He's accused of performing a sex act on a 17-year-old boy. He is set to appear in court again February 20th in Franklin County. Police arrest a man accused of murder on the side of the road. Now, Justin Smith is from Chicago and was wanted for murder last year. Authorities say they were looking for Smith in three different states and were able to track him to Cedar Rapids. U.S. Marshals say they followed him after leaving a house and he was later arrested along Interstate 380. Authorities say he will be sent back to Chicago. Well, still to come on News 7K, WWL, four Iowa schools honored for their accommodations to veterans. You're watching News 7K, WWL. We've got you covered.